Hello and welcome to a new video about my stepper drivers. All the things you have seen were a year ago, around a year ago, right? And now <clears throat> I'm still sitting there without having changed anything. Those stuff here is still lurking at my table, messing it up. Maybe it's too far-fetched that I say those little parts are messing up this table. Because even if I remove them, the table is pretty much messed up. <laughs> so <clears throat> I was not satisfied. I was not satisfied with my original plan that I do this uh, marble labyrinth game, uh, this maze, marble maze uh, stuff. Because actually I already said it, the correct drive for this application would be a servo drive. And so I was not enti entirely happy. So meanwhile, I thought a little bit here and there and so on. So I, I, I lost the drive simply because I was not happy with it. So I now have an idea. I now I have an idea. I want to make those things uh, for a movable platform, yeah, for a driving platform and some sort of caterpillar drive, continuous track drive. Yeah, uh, but not really with chains. I want to have the screw, I want to have a screwdrive and I want to have this movable in every direction. I think that's a more suitable able application for those motors. To be able to try to, to draw this uh, properly, I want to have 3D models of these devices. Uh, of course, I could download them somewhere, try to find them, but I always think that we can learn something when we when we dismount stuff. And this is exactly what I try to do. I will now take one of those motors. <coughs> and we'll have a look inside yeah, to make simply a good model from this motor. Because actually I would have started to, to draw this stuff, this stuff, and then I'll see here, hey, there's a hole, uh, there's a hole, and there is the bearing, you can see the bearing inside, right? you can see that, there's the roller bearing, yeah. so, hmm. let's open this stuff up. For sure not good. <laughs> now it worked. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> let's see. Now let's see if I can. see if I can mount it again. Before I explain, I try to explain what I see here. Oh, it's working better. Good! Good! Look at that! Yeah. It's like in the... So that's the cover. Yeah. That's the cover and now it's clear. Okay, there's the bearing seat. There's a little this, this spring. This spring... Uh, plate inside that, that we can keep the bearing where it shall be. Uh, that's a little spring. This is just for electrical isolation, I would say. Uh, that none, no of the electrical stuff is touching, because actually we here with soldering points. And look at that. This is actually like in the picture book. This is how a stepper motor looks inside. Yeah? And this shall turn. Right now it's not turning because simply it sticks to a wall. I'll try to remove this as well, the rotor. Aha, it's coming out. Ah. 
Look at that! It's... This is the stator, uh, the thing which is not moving. We see the coils. Those coils will be turned on and off periodically. We see the rotor, which is now here grabbing all the... We see the rotor. Yeah. We see that the rotor is consistent, consisting of two parts, yeah, of two of these teeth, teeth uh, discs. Yeah, okay, there's the bearing moving, this is the second bearing, shaft, rotor shaft. And these teeth, these teeth discs, you see that those are currently, they are, they are shifted, tilted. Yeah. This enables one one of these parts is 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 going in is reacting, yeah, and the other part is a little bit shifted. So you see, those are exactly exactly uh, one hundred eighty degree, if you want to call this the period, they are exactly different. Probably I should turn off the autofocus. Then we can really watch it perfect. Huh? 180 degrees. Wherever one has a, a notch, the other one has has a has this groove. Huh? And vice versa. And if we turn on, if we turn on uh, a coil, then we will end up that one one of those things are exactly uh, adjusted to the grooves there. The groove and groove will adjust, and 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 raise and raise will adjust, and then we turn on two micro stepping. A step would be tuck 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 one coil after the other, and micro stepping would also be two coils at the same times. And then this rotor is shaped as it should be. This is actually how how this this stepper motor is working. Yeah? Turn one coil after the other, and because of the form of this teeth form, we are always moving in steps, in steps, in steps, in steps, because simply the iron. Yeah? We see it's it's iron there, yeah? so some magnetic material, and we also see that it is uh, sheet metal, yeah? that's typical, because we want to, to, to lead the, the, the magnetic field, but not current inside there. So we, this is to prevent the eddy currents. Good. Yeah? So this is how this looks like. And now I can really draw a model of this stuff. Why should it look different, right? Why should it look different? It cannot look different because it has to perform the task it performs. All right. So, like I said, I will now make a model of this stuff and I will draw um, an example so that you can imagine what I'm trying to do. And well, it's a more suitable approach for using a stepper motor like this uh, than this labyrinth. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.